Good morning. Today we're starting a devotional series from a book by Sarah Young entitled Jesus Calling. Each day there's a short devotional written from the point of view of Jesus, like Jesus is speaking directly to you. And there are scripture verses that go along with the devotion, and then we will have a short reflection and or prayer. This is the book, Jesus Calling, by Sarah Young. Today's reading, April 27th. Come to me with empty hands and an open heart, ready to receive abundant blessings. I know the depth and breadth of your neediness. Your life path has been difficult, draining you of strength. Come to me for nurture. Let me fill you up with my presence. I in you and you in me. My power flows most freely into weak ones aware of their need for me. Faltering steps of dependence are not a lack of faith. They are links to my presence. And our readings for today come from John chapter 17, beginning at verse 20. I ask not only on behalf of these, but also on behalf of those who will believe in me through their word, that they may all be one. As you, Father, are in me and I am in you, May they also be in us, so that the world may believe that you have sent me. The glory that you have given me, I have given them, so that they may be one, as we are one. I in them and you in me, that they may become completely one, so that the world may know that you have sent me, and I have loved them even as you have loved me. And the second reading comes from Isaiah chapter 40, beginning at verse 29. He gives power to the faint and strengthens the powerless. Even youths will faint and be weary, and the young will fall exhausted. But those who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. We find comfort in the words that Jesus is speaking to us today as we come with empty hands, as we come with our neediness, our fears, our worries. God sees it all. God knows it all, and God meets us where we are. These days are uncertain. These days are filled with our neediness. Bring it all to God, and God will give you abundant blessings in return. Not necessarily blessings that will take this virus away, and not blessings that will cure everyone who has come under its grips. But God will bring the abundant blessing of his presence. The abundant blessing of his presence, which is our source of strength. His presence, which can ease our worries and ease our fears. The abundant blessing of his presence is what carries us through each and every day. Just as Jesus was one with the Father, so too can we be, one with the Father. Becoming dependent on God's presence is what connects us to God and is, what, is where we draw our fortitude. To keep hanging in there, like I hear so many people saying today, I ask, how are you doing? And their reply is, hanging in there. Well, let us hang in there by the power of being in God's presence. 
Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless.